Dr. Roger Altunian was one of those responsible for isolating sodium chromoglycate, perhaps better known as intar. Well, it began long before my time, about 5,000 years ago, in ancient Egypt, where they discovered that a soup made out of a weed called kelly relieved spasm. In other words, the kind of smooth muscle contraction that occurs in the lung when you get an attack of asthma. And our chemists and pharmacologists decided to try and improve on the action of this extract, kelly. And really, the nub of this story is that we started with guinea pigs. And I came onto the scene fairly late, in, after about three years, and I thought that instead of using guinea pigs as the muzzle, we'd use myself, because I'm an asthmatic. And so I used to inhale the antigen, which gave me my asthma attack, and then try the effect of these derivatives. And very soon I found that these Kellen derivatives didn't actually relieve my spasm very well, some of them not at all. But what they did was if I gave them, if I inhaled them before the antigen, uh, they actually stopped my asthma attack. In other words, they were an anti-allergic, if you like. And then it was simply a question of trying to improve on this response, on this effect of the drug, by making more and more derivatives. And of course, we could have gone on for a thousand years and never hit a really active compound. But again, we were very lucky. And in 1965, that's about eight years' work, testing about 50 weeks a year, no, so 90 compounds, say, a year, in about eight years, we, we were lucky in finding Intel. Well, you know, the solution to the problem was really quite simple. It came to me one day in, the, in my bath, and I was helped, probably, by the fact that I had spent five years during the war as an RAF pilot and instructor, flying instructor, sitting behind one of these propellers. So I was very familiar with the principle of the propeller. Now, the principle of the propeller is really quite simple. When it's made to turn, it creates a draft. Alternatively, if it's placed in a draft, it will also turn. The spin haler works in the same principle. Inside, there is a miniature propeller. When the patient breathes in, it rotates and vibrates and releases the drug into the airstream so that you get automatic coordination of the release of drug with the patient breathing in. And really, that's the principle of the spinhaler. 